There's dignity in work. There's dignity in discipline. And so when it comes down to our purpose and destiny, we have to take the mindset and the attitude that my life is worth the discipline. My destiny, my future is worth the discipline. And you got to meditate on it. And you got to prepare your soul and prepare your emotions. And you got to work on it. A boxer just don't jump in the ring. A boxer has to visualize himself in the ring, fighting and winning. A boxer conditions himself, he conditions his body. He gets in there and practice and punch that bag. You have to see yourself fulfilling your purpose. You got to study your craft. You got to learn what God has called you to do. If God called you to be a businessman, then you, in that certain area of business, you need to know it. Frontwards, backwards, sideways. You need to be perfected in it. What area of ministry has God called you to? You need to be working on that thing. You know you need a certain type of anointing. You need to be fasting and praying and spending time with God. You need to be studying the old generals. You need to know the history of the type of ministry that you have. God's called you into the prophetic. Then who are the prophets in the earth? Who are the generals in the earth? What are the pitfalls of prophets? God's called you to be an apostle. He's called you to be a pastor. You need to know what it means about what it means to shepherd a church, pastor the church. What it means to, to, to have a congregation is just not teaching and preaching, but it's outside uh, of the from the pulpit. It's counseling and it's raising them up. It's working with the community. Amen. All those different things. Yes, sir. You need to learn and study about uh, uh, who has succeeded as a pastor, who has failed as a pastor. Why did they fail? Amen. So you know how to watch your soul, govern your soul. You need to know how you must need to know how to, you need to know how to discipline yourself. Amen. You know, we need to know how to control our eyes. We need to make ourselves read the word of God. Make ourselves read the Bible before we go to bed. Read the Bible when we wake up in the morning. We need to learn, we need to be rehearsed verses and memorize them. Get the word in your spirit. We need to be practice the cream. Practice uh, speaking the word of God, confessing the word. If you're not saying anything, you're not creating anything. Amen. Amen. You're right, Apostle. You, God's called you to be a prophet. God's called you to be a business person. God's called you to be a person on the marketplace. Whatever He's called you to do, study it. Amen. There's always a model that God has released. There's nothing new under the sun. You might be a pioneer from the standpoint that you pioneered this thing that God has called you to do because you've never done it before. You've never done a ministry and walked into the ministry before, but the ministry, I'm sure, has been done. You understand what I'm saying? 